What's going on everybody? Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. We're going to kind of combine shooting and archery and hunting with camera equipment, which I realize is kind of a stretch for this channel, but I've been playing around with this thing for a, a few days now and it's just so cool and so much fun that I thought I would bring it to your guys' attention. So whether you have a YouTube channel or you want to start a YouTube channel, you bow hunt or shotgun hunt, or you just want to play around at the house with the family, uh, this thing is really cool and it's really been a lot of fun for me so by the way we do have guns and ammo and bows and arrows here in the truck bed so we're gonna play a little bit today as well but first I want to show you guys this so I'm gonna set you guys up here on the tripod and we're gonna talk about this for a minute by the way I'm gonna rely on this camera's autofocus for this video which I don't like to do because it hunts like crazy so if I'm in and out of focus uh, I apologize but what I'm talking about today is the GoPro gun rod and bow mount now you're probably thinking no sh the best gun and bow mount for a gopro is the one that's called the gun and bow mount but you'd be surprised at how many different mounts and attachments people use for you know gopro and like first person angles on stuff i'm sure a lot of you guys watch different youtube channels that go hunting or uh, strap gopros to their chest or their head and those are really cool i've used them a lot i've probably done a couple videos with them uh, like I have you know all of those attachments I have the chest mount here and I like the chest mount a lot it's really good for almost everything like I use it for you know anything where I need to use my hands I like to just strap a GoPro to my chest and you can pretty much see everything the problem with the chest mount or even the head mount um, when you're shooting you know guns or bows is that well for one with a bow you know just think about how you draw a bow back and obviously your chest is gonna be kind of facing that way so wherever your arrow goes the, the GoPro is not going to capture it and same with a gun a lot of the time that chest mount is just in the way when you're trying to you know shoulder a rifle or a shotgun or something like that um, for pistols and you know stuff like that they're cool uh, the head mount I've actually liked better when I'm shooting pistols because it's kind of an overhead view and kind of exactly what you're seeing but this thing absolutely takes the cake not only because wherever your gun or bow is pointed is exactly where it's facing but you also have the option to mount it facing you which I've actually really grown to like from the little bit that i played with it over the last few days those angles that you can get where it's facing you and kind of capture what you're doing while you're shooting your gun or your bow is really sweet so let's go ahead and take it out of the box and show you guys what it looks like here now i obviously already have a gopro in mind this doesn't come with the mount <laughs> um, gopros run anywhere from two to four hundred dollars the brand new ones are 400 this is a hero five it's like three generations old now i really need to replace it don't know if you guys saw the video where I shot the lens cap off of it, but it still works fine. But anyways, this is the mount itself. And you can see there's just a million different things going on here. So I'm gonna kind of spare you guys the really boring details, but basically they include a few different backs depending on what GoPro you have and it allows you to mount different generations of GoPros. And then they also have this arm here, which is the short straight arm. And then I already installed the longer one that kind of allows you to mount the GoPro a little further off to the side and just get more of a wider angle. So we'll go ahead and start with the bow and then we'll move on to the guns after this. By the way, this was $69.99 where I got it. You might be able to find it a little bit cheaper online. And these GoPro mounts are always overpriced. This is really cool and the angles that it allows you to get you know, are probably not possible without this mount. So it's not crazy expensive, but honestly, it's just a bunch of plastic. I don't really know why they have to, you know, charge $70 for these kind of mounts, but what are you gonna do? So I'm gonna go ahead, and take my release off of the bow here. Well, I don't really remember where I was at. My family just pulled up on four wheelers and we talked for about 30 minutes. So getting right back into it. Basically the best place to mount these on a bow is in between the top of your sight and the top of the bow right underneath this draw weight adjustment screw here. So I'm gonna probably have to use the truck bed a little bit here, but I'll go ahead and show you guys where I mount mine. And basically you just line it up to where it's straight and you'll feel there's kind of claws on the inside of this and you'll feel it grip when you start tightening down this little lever here and it really snugs up when you crank on that lever so another reason i like this extension arm here is because it allows you to mount two gopros really you can mount one on top and one on bottom and have one facing you and then one facing your target or off into the woods or whatever i've watched a lot of bow hunting vlogs and 
you know, a lot of the channels that I watch do vlog their hunts. And if you could mount two GoPros on here, you could literally just hold your bow like this and talk to your bow, like up in the deer stand or, you know, with hanging out with your buddies or whatever while you're stalking or hunting. And literally those two GoPros could be your entire camera setup, which is super convenient. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a camera in here. And again, even if you don't have a YouTube channel or, or you know, do anything like this, it's still cool. A lot of people still like to document their hunts and stuff like that so screw that in like that and then obviously it allows you to adjust the tilt and you can loosen this up and adjust the angle you know in and out as well so that honestly looks pretty good i'm gonna go ahead and turn this gopro on and i just have it kind of leaning up against my hip right here and like i said you can easily just talk to the gopro and actually you can see <laughs> you can see me through the gopro through my camera lens which is hilarious but i'm gonna go ahead and grab an arrow here. I'll just show you guys this angle, then we'll flip it around and I'll show you the other way. There's only obviously a couple options for a bow because there's not a ton of places to mount these, but really this is perfect, you know, right here on the top of the bow. And like I said, either facing you or facing the animal you're hunting or your target you're shooting or whatever. So go ahead and get my release on. We'll go ahead and shoot my target here. I don't know how well you guys can see me on that camera over there, but. So I haven't really looked at how bad the GoPro shakes whenever you release the arrow. I don't think there's too many mounts that would allow you to completely get away from that, so. So that's the angle facing me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and we'll flip it around. I might hang it off this one on the bottom here. And what's cool about GoPros is when you hang them upside down, they just automatically kind of reorient the screen and adjust it for you. So when I first mounted this on here, I thought that it would screw up the balance of the bow. I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that as well, but it honestly, for me, it stabilized it even more. It was almost like a, you know, an additional stabilizer for my bow which I did not expect. So again, this is low. I have it, you know, hanging on the upside down mount, but you could put it on the top and get more of a top down angle. But I kind of like this low angle because you can see my sight and you can see whatever I'm shooting at. So here we go. I got my draw weight up to 65 pounds now. So we're getting there. I really hope the sun's not interfering with this GoPro because they suck in bright sunlight. They get crazy glares, but you can get an idea through the GoPro here of what it looks like. And if you don't want that big sight, you know, in your way, then again, you could move it up and kind of get over the top of that. But I actually like it. All right. I'm actually drawing that back pretty easy now. It was really tough a couple weeks ago. Boom. All right, so I don't want to stress too much on the bow, but like I said, it is cool how you can, you know, face the camera towards you and talk to it, vlog in a deer stand, and then at the same time, see the animal, see the woods, see stuff that's coming in and going out. It's just super cool. These GoPros, the image quality is not as good as something like this, but they're really convenient. They're just made for stuff like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off of the bow. We'll throw it on a couple guns. By the way, it does say that it's a gun rod and bow mount so if you fish you can mount this onto your fishing pole and on the picture there it shows it kind of mounted to it looks like a shotgun barrel maybe but i've actually found a couple other spots that are probably a little bit better shotguns you're kind of limited you're probably going to have to go with the barrel or the magazine tube most of my shotguns have a rail on top of the barrel and it kind of gets in the way of this thing but you can still use the magazine tube but first we're gonna look at my AR-15. So this is obviously my Bravo Company rifle. You guys have seen this gun a million times. By the way, I just got a couple of these Daniel Defense magazines. They're actually 32 rounders. They've been out for a long time, but I actually like them a lot. They're working pretty well so far. So there's a million places you can mount this to an AR-15. The most obvious would be out here towards the end somewhere and facing the target and kind of capturing the video that way. But again, I do like having the GoPro facing towards me and then if I'm doing, you know, like reloads or anything like that, you can kind of capture all that and see it. So we're gonna go ahead, put it out here on the front. 
For mine, I actually have it mounted to the top right in between my pressure pad and my front sight. And you can see that the GoPro is kind of off to the side. And again, it's facing me. And believe it or not, that does not get in the way of my red dot. So I doubt that you guys will be able to see that. Almost positive you can't. But whenever I shoulder this rifle and look through my red dot, that clamp is underneath my reticle and I can see the tip of my front sight and I can see my whole entire sight picture. So it's perfect. And again, if you're doing drills or reloads or running and gunning or whatever, you're just capturing everything from the end of the handguard all the way back. And you can see a lot of the gun as well as you know, your face, and what you're doing. So that's the first spot that I really like. And again, you could easily just flip that camera around and face your targets and just capture everything that way. But that's really far out on the end of the gun. And you're basically not gonna see anything but where your gun is aimed. So I actually like to mount it to the buffer tube. So you could come back here, you could come back closer to your optic, you know, behind your optic, whether or not you have a red dot, um, behind your, your rear sight, stuff like that. But I actually found out that the buffer tube gives you kind of a cool angle down the whole side of the rifle and lets you still see the target that you're shooting. So, and that looks something like that. And once again, it's completely out of the way of your sights or your red dot or whatever. And by the way, this little lever here, it allows you to flip that up or down and you know you can basically move this thing out of the way of anything just depending on how you set it up but again when you have it set up all the way back here on the buffer tube you can really just see everything you can see the gun um, these gopros have such a, a wide angle field of view that you can see pretty much you know all the way down the rifle and the target that you're shooting the transitions that you're doing it's just super cool we will go down and, and shoot this here in a second like this but again most of you might not have a youtube channel you might not really care too much about this but if you ever try this it's going to be really cool and really addictive i just love capturing gopro footage on these kind of mounts and shooting guns and i've only done it a couple times on the channel mostly i think with the head harness that i have you know like running and gunning with a shotgun i maybe a pistol you know once or twice but this is super cool and again it's just locked on there steady whereas with a chest harness or a head harness it kind of bobbles up and down and you know moves around a lot more than it does on here. One thing I am curious about, I haven't shot a shotgun yet with this, is how will it be able to handle the recoil? Uh, obviously an AR and a, a, you know, a compound bow don't really recoil too hard, so I think the shotgun will be the ultimate test. But again, the options are pretty much endless depending on how your rail's set up and stuff like that. I don't really wanna talk your head off too much about this, but just endless possibilities with this thing. So let's give it a shot with the shotgun now. That's the beautiful thing about GoPros, you can just drop them and bang them around. They're kind of made for it. So, All right, the shotgun we're using for this is the Remington Versamax. Shout out to Turtle Lake Tactical for sending this out. I still haven't sent this back to him, by the way. I'm just holding on to it, hoping that he forgets about it. So don't tell him I said that, but this thing is amazing. I figured, you know, it's got the lightest recoil of any shotgun I have right now. So I figured we'd bring this one out and give it a shot. But like I said, most of my shotguns have these rails on top of the barrel for your bead sights and stuff like that. And actually this mount, it might be the one place that this mount doesn't fit onto very well, but we do have a lot of room on the magazine tube here. So, all right, so we got it on the magazine tube with a shotgun and this might be a good place to use the original bracket that I showed you guys in the beginning just the straight one so that it's not so offset from the barrel because it is hanging underneath obviously on the bottom of it and you might not get quite as much of the end of that barrel as you would if you just use the regular mount also most gopro attachments this one doesn't but like when you get like a value pack or you know sometimes even when you buy the camera it comes with this little wrench so that you can tighten down these knobs and i would definitely use it for the shotgun we're going to go test it out here in a second but give you guys kind of an idea of what it looks like you can really see and I like this too because I can see the camera while I'm shouldering the gun you know just to see what my angle is and you can really see everything down in the woods um, just basically whatever you're pointing that gun at it's picking up perfectly so hopefully it stays on I think it will but let's go shoot it all right now we're on the shotgun obviously underneath the barrel attached to the magazine tube but you can see that if you were like out hunting how well you can see 
out into the woods and then when you take your shot you'll be able to see exactly where the bullet goes to so I just have some bird shot in here I think I'm going to start out with the shot on that bank vault door transition over take out our two liter and then shoot the last three or four rounds off into the woods out there so I really screwed this one down because it is a shotgun and I'm curious to see if the recoil will kind of knock it loose and screw up our camera angle so let's see Well, it looks like it pretty much stayed put, and that was five rounds really fast from a 12-gauge shotgun, so cool. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I know this was kind of a stretch. Um, obviously, I'm kind of a nerd, and I'm into the production side of all this, but I've just been playing around with this, and honestly, today was the first time I tried this on you know, these two guns, and it actually worked really well. So there's just something so cool about being able to put a little GoPro alongside of an AR-15 or you know, on the front of a bow and, and just capture everything that's going on. So even if you don't have a YouTube channel or you don't document everything like I do, um, everybody likes to film shooting and bow hunting and stuff like that. So regardless, it's super cool and I think that you'd probably have a lot of fun with it. So I'm gonna stop talking. I hope this video hasn't gone for too long. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. And as always, if you did like the video, Video guys smash that like button for me it really helps me out a lot thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time